Thought we'd do a little behind the scenes, me and Lucy on a training road trip. Doing some work. Lucy's driving. Look at this. A little, a little uh, diversion on our road trip to North Carolina. We're in West Virginia. We had to stop at the New River Gorge. This place is freaking amazing. Lucy wants to go break the law and climb out onto that rock. I won't let her. I told her it's not worth the risk. No fun. You want to do it? Go ahead. She's bigger than Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of the car in West Virginia. We're at the New River Gorge National Park here, taking a little walk. We're on the tunnel trail. Gorgeous. You got your gun out? I got my knife out. Do you have your knife out? Hey, Luce. Luce, get in there. Get in there. Try to put your arm in there and see if anything. See if anything comes out. Put your arm in there. Put your arm in the hole. Get closer. Oh. Get closer. <laughs> Get. I'm not putting right. my arm in the hole. Ah! You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished up. We've been in the car, Lucy and I, for 13 hours, 3 minutes, and 9 seconds as of this announcement. We covered 873 miles safely today. We saw a couple crazy accidents. Always grateful that I can travel the country safely. And now we're rolling into Siler, North Carolina. We've got a beautiful Airbnb nestled back here in what appears to be some gorgeous country woods. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to grill some steaks tonight. Get ready to train. Yeah. Love driving on some gravel roads, too, because I can tell Lucy ghost stories. <laughs> That's the road that we're taking right now. That's the road to, that's a road. That's the road, Woods Mill Bend Drive. That's the road we're taking. There's a high probability that there's an ax murderer out here. Here we go. Smile, some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff, cause I think they call it rock and roll. Since Don's not here, I'll say it. Time. You got a pulse. You got a significant pulse. All right, we're gonna break it down, resettle. I need you to trace that. The reason I want you to trace that is this relies on Velcro. So you need to have as much surface contact with Velcro to Velcro as you can. Because if you don't, and you just stop right short because you're sitting on the ground, it's like that. And you start twisting. One of the things that may happen is it might come undone because of the, it doesn't have as much tension from the surface area that it's being covered, right? right. So now I've traced that. I've run it all the way around. Stopped. Twist it. So the bleeding stops. So you see I got, I've gotten three twists in that, right? And it's working. Okay, on time. If one doesn't work, what can you do? Second. 
Add another one. Don't need it. Now that being said, if you have two people down and you have two tourniquets and they, let's say they have, for argument's sake, they have the same wounds, if one of them isn't stopped because they've got giant legs or whatever the case may be, would you want to take one tourniquet away from the other person to make sure that you get 100% occlusion or would you rather kind of slow it down? For Tacnet Solutions, and then going to a bad place in life. Um, and Chris has been working. And it's your him. job. So he's he's he gave to me glue pubic like, hair on dummies. With not a lot. So So it's easy to roll somebody towards you if you're going to check. Them. You know, and while we're talking about this, we'll um, I'll go ahead and talk about checking the downside real quick. So. I need to roll him towards me to check his downside or his backside. We're kind of jumping ahead to the restoration stuff for chest injuries, right? But while I've got him here, I can do that, right? So take that arm, and I'm going to roll him towards me. It's much easier to control somebody if I roll him on top of me than it is if I roll him away. Then you're just going to roll him over my face, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. You so can grab him on your leg if you're down there too, if you need to, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So grab right here around the belt, because that's the one that's the strongest part of a pants. Even if somebody doesn't have a belt on, you can still grab it right here, right? So I usually grab that, and I'll get right in here, and I'll just roll it, right? Then I'll have to expose back, check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so I checked that, he's good. So I'm from here, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the recovery position, right? Right. Ow. Mick's being a good patient right now, he's getting limp, right? So, that's the recovery position. Okay? He <laughs> 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 had to get comfortable real quick. You know, you were tapping on his back with that. That was just me messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know this or something, right? If you need to move a patient to get him into that position, laying flat, <coughs> fine. <clears throat> if they're on their face, face. Roll them over, get them to where you can see everything and work on them, right? So that jaw thrust thing that we were talking about, this is not real comfortable. See, it's just that little bit. It's kind of coming up. Hit you right now. Yeah, it's not It's not comfortable. It's not fun. You're good. So, jaw thrust, head tilt, chin. Pressure. But there is a lot of pressure. You have to keep pushing as you're doing it. You'd be surprised how much pressure you need to put on. So you guys remember me saying that this little 24 pounds of pressure right here on the floor? These guys. So here's a quick demonstration of positional shooting with a rifle. And the goal is we're trying to teach how to get in and out of positions, how to get into the position that will give you the best platform to get the hit, and then how to explode and get to the next spot that you need to, be it for a fight, for a competition, or whatever. These are AR-550 steel plates from TA Targets. You'll see uh, targets being engaged here from 50 yards to the one I'm about to hit. It's a 12-inch plate at 140 yards, all with just a red dot. I shot a couple of those a few times because I wanted you to see that you could hit them. Okay. It's a different shooting position. Who's up? When you are. So in class, sometimes we shoot large hunks of meat. Why? Well, humans are made of meat. If we're looking at it from a terminal ballistic standpoint, we want to know what our rounds are going to do. And from a first responder standpoint, we want to understand what we may come into contact with in, say, a mass murder, active shooter scenario. After a student sees the wounding created by a rifle or pistol round, we get a good understanding of why wound packing is an essential life-saving skill. You see, you may have an injury that 
maybe he isn't bleeding from the outside, but it may very well be bleeding from the inside. You may not see that. Packing the wound, and this is something that you need to get in class and learn from someone that has the skills to teach it, can really mean the difference between somebody making it to the emergency room to get to a doctor or bleeding to death on the street. Hold on, guys. Hold on. That one's kind of falling over a little bit, too. What'd you pay for that? Uh, $9.56. $9.56? Yep. That's it? Yeah, well, I got it at the, uh, the, the Latin grocery store. I got it at the uh, Scratch Not and Dent. <laughs> <laughs> Not at uh, Publix. Okay. You might have chunks of those floating around in you. Pretty crazy. Say, hell you say. All right, be the last one. Then we'll retreat to the shade for just a minute, and we'll march with courage and vibrance and victory in our hearts. Same right thing. On. Nope. Storage full on Lucy's phone. Good job. Good job. You guys breathing? Force yourself to breathe. Tell yourself, I win. Good, good. Watch. Good, 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 good. So when we shoot this time. When you shoot this time, make sure you got a great grip. Clamp down on the gun. Clamp down. Again. 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 Hit it one more time. Fight to your feet with the gun out. Get your feet straight. Get to your feet. Hit it again. Sure. Good. Good hit. All right. So. Because you know your arm can work and you need to reholster safe, go ahead. Cool. Real smooth. All right, so we're going to take one knee. Take a knee, come down. Do the same thing. I am a big fan of watch me, then do it. You know, it's not just tell you what to do, let's show you what to do. So especially when it's my own flesh and blood, my beautiful daughter, we're going to do this stuff together to be totally safe. Now, what we're doing here is not just shoot from these positions. What we're trying to teach the student is learning how to be comfortable and composed in various positions. We're not suggesting you should just get on your back and shoot from the ground like that. But what if you're knocked to your back? What if it's the only place you can shoot from? Not to mention, you're going to be a lot more comfortable if you ever have to be in an uncomfortable position. Does that make sense? Okay, you go. Yeah. Uh, you gotta move that guy behind cover. There's two of you now. Right? So, shoot, move, communicate, move, attention, and both of you. Like, shooting is easy. We figure that it's not easy, easy, right? But that's gonna be the easy part of it. Try to catch some easy plays. You're really good at moving. But talking to each other and figuring out, hey, Fred, come to me. Too bad, Fred ain't coming to you if you haven't got that yet. Okay? Who's going out there to get them? Are both of us burning it down? Both of us moving them together, speed, security style? Or is one going to move? Drag the other one covers. Right? In front of, not over the top of. I know what I can do, and I know I can fit my own. So have a plan. Plan your dive and dive your plan. So you're going to cover which means that he may say threat, and you may have to shoot in and over around me. Do you want me to drag or be dragged? Yeah. Oh, it's on Don't even say that. Sort it out on the walk. Why are you running? Talk to Fred. Yo, Fred! Get your back here,
How are we going to fix it? How are we going to fix it? He's got a flap. It's a belly flap. Cool. A little bit of, a little bit of trouble, right? Like, oh, shit, do I need to move up? So if you're covering, I don't it's a realistic shit. nipple. It is, isn't it? What are you saying now? Milk it. So if you, right, so as your dad's dragging it back, you're dragging it back here, right? Is he in front of him? Yeah, absolutely. Right? Okay. X. Talk to each other. Talk to each other. Orange. Spread good face down like that? No, sir. Yes. Think about what you're doing. Good, good, good. Lucy, Lucy, orange. Watch your muzzle. Get a hit, get a hit. So if what you see here is just a bunch of guys playing with guns on a weekend, you've totally missed the point. What you really see here are people exposing themselves to ideas, concepts, techniques, and principles that they've maybe not had before. Things that are completely required to save one's own skin or the life of another in violence. Think on that. suffering you're the one that chose to spend the weekend shoving your arms and legs through a nylon strap cranking down a mechanical windlass crushing flesh and vessels into bone you didn't give me a choice oh you had every choice how do you know if they're tight enough when the bleeding stops it's a pretty good indicator that it worked where do you put them high and tight i like that because then you only got to like remember one thing as high up the limb as possible and nice and tight and then anything downstream is taken care of right how long did they teach us that we can leave them in the civilian world? Two hours. In military? Four. Good to know, good to know. Any other good takeaways from this weekend? Mm, be your own help because it might be the last thing you do Ooh, so not choosing to do something could be the last choice you make. Some may say, be your own Calvary. Hmm, 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 hmm.